All right, so we got like a Surface 4 or 3 or something. I'm gonna turn on the light real quick. I don't want anybody really know I'm on here, but. Not such a surface, but this is soft shelly stuff. Wow. a good sign when something from the beach is right where it is so it's kind of like flat at the bottom here so it might be interesting the whippy 13 to 20 see how soft these shells are so let's see this first time Ooh, hear that shovel again almost time for a new stick So this is where I can't, you won't be able to catch up to something. I don't know if I can catch up to it or not, guys. Look at how big the size of that pile. You guys see that? Solid 18 out of the hole. Ah, oh, it's a nice sinker though. Oh yeah. So th that's the worst case scenario right there pretty much. Just look at the size of that pile. Look okay. at, you know, that's a lot of sand. And as this is quicksand, you're not gonna be able to catch up to a gold ring unless you do what I just did. You gotta dig fast when you get a good signal. Guys, I don't know why I put it in up here. It's a two, it's a one, two. Almost like you can't suck as a hell. Because of how uh, high up it is. Ooh, swivel. So, uh, yeah, I've already started gritting up and down because of all the negative grunts and stuff. I went all the way up to the top because the top is the, the hump and uh, the hump looks like it had gotten water washed over it and then a lot of the hump's gone so really whippy whippy sound somebody coming down the low tide line with a light on could be somebody just hunting shells but It's gonna be difficult tonight, guys, because this is... Curious what that is. Crab trap, should have known that. See that silvery thing on there? Tonight's gonna be fun. Solid 13 out of the hole. Solid 13 out of the hole. Tonight's gonna be fun. Tonight's gonna be a lot of fun. Grunt, 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 grunt. From 30 to grunts. 22, 23 out of the hole. That's strange. Maybe it's a ring. Or a big old sinker. You gotta love that, guys. I'm gonna find a ring tonight. What'd I just say? I'm gonna find a ring tonight. Lots of grunts, 17 to grunty. Grunt, 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 grunt. Eighteen out of the hole. Mm. 
another sinker. Wow, I'm definitely gonna find a ring tonight. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, what was what was that? I'm definitely gonna find a ring tonight. I'll make more money in lead than I will anything else. That's a what what. Good evening. So I'm sitting here editing last night's footage and I was kind of reflecting, thinking about last night I got to the beach and every time I travel to the beach, so each beach that I go to is, you know, a mile or two long at least. So there's multiple entrances that you can go to throughout, uh, throughout the beach. And I've got a favorite beach and my favorite beach has one or two corners that collect all of the, the jewelry for the most part. So you can kind of, you know, park above it, park right at it, park below it. And uh, last night, as I was heading there, I thought, well, I'm going to park above it and then walk down to it. And I followed through with that, pulled in, um, parked where I met Rebecca and James in the morning. So I went out to the beach, <clears throat> excuse me, and I walked straight to the beach every time, straight out the path, straight to the beach. And I put the coil down and signal, 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 like grunts. You know, when I talk about grunts, if it's grunting at you, if, if there's an accumulation of iron, irons are usually heavy. You should probably slow down and check stuff out. Uh, found a sinker, found another sinker. And then the third sinker I found, I told you guys that I was going to find a ring tonight. And, or last night, tonight, for you guys, it's I don't even know how to say that. So I was going to find a ring. Um, and I even with the third sinker, I said like, what, what? Because I found the sinker and I knew that the accumulation of heavies usually means that the rings are going to be there as well. Um, at that time, I saw a flashlight coming down the low tide line. And I thought for sure it was another detectorist coming down the low tide. They got closer. It was a couple from Kentucky. A young couple from Kentucky and uh, told her who I was she snatched the phone right out of his hand and looked me up right there on the beach and she was like oh he's got a thousand subscribers already she was like really impressed and for me I'm just beginning thousand subscribers is really nothing for me because I hadn't really put into perspective what I've done or what I've accomplished so far you know it takes people years to do what I've done in a few months but I'm me, right? So I don't think that anything's impossible. Um, so I was, I, I talk to couples that are young and in love the same way every time I tell them about, you know, Gary Chapman's five love languages. They need to read it if they care about each other. That way they can see um, what each one's given. Each, you know, you, you're given your partner something that they're not seeing is the reason that uh, relationships fail for real like uh because you tell yourself afterwards oh i really love this person well no you didn't not if you didn't figure out uh what was wrong with you in your givings to them because you're not giving them what they needed you may have thought that your efforts that you put in were a lot but the efforts weren't what they needed so um i give the apparently adult lecture that I always give to young in love couples and at that moment I realized that that's this is what I'm supposed to be doing I mean for real I took this unbelievable breath I didn't care if I found anything um their first question to me was have I found anything and I said no not yet but I'm gonna find a couple rings that was what I told them that was my statement and that's how confident I am in my ability right guys I tell you guys wow I'm not the ringmaster ring god or whatever but I know where to go to find the jewelry at the beach I that's what I'm teaching you guys and uh they were gone I don't know 10 minutes and I found you know quarter signal bing 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 quarter signal and it wasn't a quarter signal, it was a ring. And I looked back up and sure enough, they were on their way back and they were, I don't know, about a hundred feet from me when I, when I, the hole was still open, this is what I was holding in my hand. So I was so elated that I was able to make a statement like that and then follow through with it to them, to, to you guys, 
almost in awe of myself that that I've learned this talent that I can just go to the beach and find jewelry. 29.30. It's gonna be an interesting night to try to catch up to some of these targets in this. I don't know what that is, listen. Oh, it's a ring, guys. Look at that, what I tell you about finding a ring. How cool is that? You guys are not coming back at the perfect time. What did I tell you I was gonna find? Yeah, what did, what did I just tell you? <laughs> I'm being recorded. I just found one, but you're being recorded. Here, look. Nice. It's a, it's oh, a silver beautiful. ring. And it'll polish up to brand new. That's awesome. Yeah, I just found it right there in that hole. It sounded like a quarter, so I know it's silver for sure. And it's a man's band. That's wild. That is wild. Isn't that? Nice. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing with us. That yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you guys from? Kentucky, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, a long ways off. Yeah, we're, we're headed home tomorrow. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Take care, guys. Oh, yeah. Thank Look you. for yourselves. You're not, like, your feet are in the video, but you will be in a video tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, take care. Guys, look at that. Is that insane or what? What did I tell you about me finding something tonight? And it's got a lot of writing on the inside of it. It's a man's band. Some guy just lost this. young couple from Kentucky came back. I told them I was gonna find a ring. I told you guys I was gonna find a ring. I'm just starting the night, guys. I'm right here, it's like prime pickings. That's just spectacular. I'm curious to what that says. There's a lot of writing right there. Very cool. What, what? That's Vermont Derrick for you guys. Let's put that on. What, what? But. Where I'm at, I've got to dig it because there's so much solid 14, 16 ripping out of the hole. You guys hearing that? Ripping. Solid. Look at that. It's a sinker. Or something. Yeah, some sort of lead weight or whatever. That's why the multi frequency on the Mind Lab starts telling the computer it's different or something. It's really weird. It'll change the signal. You come over it and you're like, oh, that was a 1013. And it's like, grunt, 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 grunt. So, I just ran into a nice couple, guys. That was what my whole night was about. Nothing to do with rings or anything, but just to tell them about Gary Chapman's five love languages. For real. It's a whippy 25 something. First signal in a while though. Not a while, but first good one in a while. It's a whippy. 24 to 6 or something out of the hall. Crazy sound and six. Crazy sound and six. Button. All right, it was a stupid sounding nine. Now I can't catch up to this three it sounded like. It 
See how fast the sides collapse, guys? Crab trap. Here it is. One little piece of crab trap. It's unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, this slush. It's almost impossible to catch up to gold. I haven't had a sinker in a while. When that happens, guys, you should probably go back to wherever you had your sinkers and then find the gold in the sinkers. Who was it that told me that all they do is find sinkers? I'll come help you find your sinkers. Guys, you can't see this spot, but it's a hole. I mean, a hole in the middle of the beach like way up on the bank there's two giant banks and i just came to this signal i'm just walking to show you the size of this hole right there's like a dead fish over here the hole's so big what is that like a little lady fish but watch up towards the end of this hole where everything would that's the one that i just came on while i'm walking back Gonna be canceled almost likely. But there's a 16 over here. Oh, do I see anything in there, guys? What is that? It's canceled. But let's go back and get the 16. It's a banging 16, 17. I mean, if I was to say that gold would sit anywhere, it would sit right here. No joke. Solid 16 out of the hole. Oh, and I find a shell casing. Nice. Seven. It went from a 20 to a 5.7 to a 20, 21, 22 out of the hole. Oh, look at that. A Thompson ring. What the heck, guys? What did I tell you about two rings? cool is that? Who's the ring man? Well, I won't say that. Who's the go ring god? Oh, I won't say that either. <laughs> what, 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 what I tell you guys? Two rings? I got lucky because I'm standing right on the way where I could be going out. What, what? <laughs> 